Hello everyone, welcome back to Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Thank you for joining me today. So we just exited the Greenvale Roundabout and we're heading towards Perth Road in Mandeville. So Manchester is one of the 14 parishes here in Jamaica and its capital is called Mandeville. But within Mandeville there are lots of communities and roads, avenues. So we're almost on Perth Road and then we're gonna head down Caledonia Road. We're gonna stop by Allenville and KFC and then we're gonna head home. So I hope you enjoy today. You know it's been raining cats and dog here in Jamaica. So you know when it rains a lot, you get hungry, <laughs> right? So we're going to stop and get something to munch on. Nothing much, but we're gonna start by KFC today. So we're in cool, cool Manchester, and it's a lovely area. So if you look towards the right, you'll see that orange and white camp. I think it's about three of them. But they're having a local election for the People's National Party, which is the opposition party here in Jamaica. We have the JLP and the PNP. There was a recent national election and the Jamaica Labour Party, which is the JLP, they won. And um, they're now currently in government, but they're seeking a president for the People's National Party. So it's an internal election for the PNP. All right, and now we are passing Mega Mart. Mega Mart and Perth Road in Mandeville. And if you look straight ahead, you are looking at the Manchester High School, which is one of the premier high school here in Manchester. If you look to your right, you will see the Fesco gas station. That's the gas station that blew up a couple months back. But you can see they have rebuilt it and it's good again. It's now currently in use. So now the light has turned green and we're heading down the road towards Caledonia Road. So extending a little courtesy here, we're letting through a bus driver or minivan. Alright, so we are currently on Caledonia Road in Mandeville, Manchester. And the grey building you are looking at to your right is the Mandeville Primary School. But we're going to take this left turn. And now we're going to turn into Caledonia Mall. Of course, Caledonia Mall is a very big mall. And there's a lot of business places here. So if you're interested in moving to Mandeville or relocating to Mandeville, um, this mall is definitely a mall for you to check out. You have paint shops, you have proactive lifestyle, you have Express Fitness, which is a 24 hour gym. You have Mandeville MRI, where you can go and get your imageries done, your x-rays and so forth. You have dentists, doctors, um, hairdressing salons, barber shop. You have clothing stores, and there's a Harchus NTA building on the plaza as well. You have pharmacies, bookstores. You have local furniture stores, such as Singer. A wide variety of business places. There are auto parts shops for cars and trucks, vans. You know, you have places where you can get glass for doors and windows. Restaurants, they just recently opened a, a cafe, so you can get coffee there. And they're extending the plaza now, so there will be additional business here at the Caledonia Mall in Mandeville. Alright, 
Now we're just gonna head out and then we're going to take a left turn and we're gonna go down Caledonia Road. It's a rainy day again here in Jamaica. It's raining in St. Elizabeth and it's raining in Manchester. It's raining island wide. So straight ahead, you're looking at the Mandeville Primary School. And we are going to take this left turn. Okay, now we're heading down Caledonia Road and there are many gas stations here in Mandeville for your convenience. And you left here was a movie theater, but it's no longer there. It has been closed for a couple years now. And we're about to pass another gas station. To the right, you're looking at the Mandeville Regional Hospital. And across from the Mandeville Hospital, there is the, um, there's a private facility where you can get medical checks done. Okay, so we're continuing on Caledonia Road, heading towards Island Grill and KFC. Now we're heading in the vicinity of Island Grill. We're about to pass another mall. This mall is called Midway Mall. So now we're going to take a left turn to go to Allen Grill and I'm going to show you what they have on the menu at Allen Grill. I'm just going to get soup but I'm still going to show you the menu. So we're at Allen Grill and this is the menu options that they have. So you have your curry goat, you have your fries, you have your veggie stew, uh, there's a lot of stuff there. You know they have ripe and green planting. I always like to buy the ripe planting. So I'm going to get a cup of red pea soup. And so this is my island grill bag and let's see what we got. Alright, this is a sweet and spicy sauce. It's a nice sauce. I like to get this sauce whenever I come here. And this is, of course, my red pea soup. And Allen Grill has gone green, you can see. All right, and this is my red pea soup. And it's a festival. I <laughs> just got a festival and a couple pieces of red plantains. Some Jamaican finger food. Now we're heading to KFC to get something for my daughter. And my husband who is the driver today. So we're heading downtown Mandeville. And we are going to KFC. Of course, you should all know that Jamaica has the best KFC in the world. Yes, I said it, the best KFC. There's a Pizza Hut. And directly across from KFC, it's the Manchester Shopping Center. And there's a variety of stores and, you know, there's a supermarket. There are a lot of things for your convenience as well. So we're heading into KFC now. And the line at the Mandeville KFC is normally long. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday, it's always long, even on a Sunday. And you know, Jamaicans love to cook for their family. But this line is always long, and inside, always crowded. So I think we're gonna have a long wait today at KC in Mandeville. And we're gonna head on across to Manchester Shopping Center. 
after I get my meal here at KFC. So you can have a view of the Manchester Shopping Centre as well. So this guy has been here waiting to make an order for the past 10 minutes. 10 minutes and counting. This is how long people have to wait in line for KFC in Mandeville. But in St. Elizabeth, where I'm from, there's a KFC in Santa Cruz, and there's currently a KFC being built in Junction, which is closer to me. So that would be good. It's long overdue. And this is the menu, Jamaican KFC menu. I'm still waiting to make my order. There's no one over the intercom, so I'm still waiting. So we just have to drive away and order at the window because no one was talking to us. So the total cost of the meal is 1500 Jamaican dollars, two famous bowl and a one piece meal. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do when you go to KFC is check. Make sure you have everything you ordered. Alright, 
So the biscuits are there. The famous bowl. Oh yeah, I ordered two biscuits. Two famous bowls. Famous bowls. And the one piece for my daughter. So this is what the one piece meal looks like. sodas okay this is what the Jamaican famous bowl looks like now we're just gonna head across to the Manchester shopping center here on the Manchester Shopping Center. They were passing a supermarket. There's a food court to the back, towards the back, but I'm not gonna go towards the back because when you go towards the back, it's very congested and it's hard to get out. And there's a Payless and the Manchester Shopping Center as well. And a pharmacy, there's Fontana Pharmacy. And there are ATMs and the Victorian Mutual Bank is also in the Manchester Shopping Center. There's Global Travel Service. Now we're currently heading out of the Manchester Shopping Center and we are heading home. So thank you so much for joining me on the tour today. And thank you guys for making it Shenzhen Zen Jamaican vibes. Remember to walk good and make good doppy. Walk with you.